there, friends. Let's visit scratch.mit.edu and complete a cool Scratch project. Make sure you sign in like I taught you yesterday or the day before. And then we are going to immediately jump in the Create option. Once you're in Create, I would like you to hit the little question mark and I'd like you to find Animated Name. Also, go over to the Untitled box and put your name and add dancing or add letters to it. And then because we need it to save, click Save Now because we don't want to lose our work. So we're going to make our name come to life by animating the letters. You can click here to start and they will show you the steps that they want you to do. The first thing we're going to do is choose a new sprite. We want to choose letters. So move over and find the letters. Find the letter of your name from any of the possible letters. I'm going to pick these lovely blue ones that have the glow and tell it OK. It shows me my groovy little letters. So I'm just following along the same thing they did. And then next I'm going to add a color effect. But before I do that, I am going to get rid of the uh, cat. So if I click on the cat, if I look up at the very top of my page, there are scissors. Bam! The cat sprite is gone. Looks like I had to click and then click again. I'm going to just move my M to the side and I'm going to go to the color effects. Color effects are super cool. They've got a little GIF that teaches you how to add a clicked and a color effect and they show you the color. It is so simple. When clicked, drop it in and then go find your color effect. Remember that was purple. So under looks, here is the change color effect. When you drop it in, it knows, see how this is selected, that this connects to that. And every time you click it, it changes the color effect by 25. The next step is to add a sound. Once again, it shows you the video of how to make it happen. We are going to add the sound zip, zoop. To do so, click on the word sounds, and you can see I've got pop loaded. I'm going to close pop, and then I'm going to click on the sound button, and I'm going to go to electronic, and there is my zoop. You can add other sounds. Uh, click OK when you're done. But remember to always keep your sounds quiet so that you're not annoying the students next to you. With my sound loaded, I can go back to scripts. I can go to the word sound, and look at this. Now the play sound zoop is available and I can put it right underneath and now when I click it plays a sound as well as changing my color each time. Now let's add an awesome backdrop. Once again you could do these without me but hey why not watch the video as we go through it. So here's your stage and let's click on those backdrop choices. They mentioned boardwalk or circles, but I'm going to actually pick the desert. When you've got the one, click OK. And your letter will now have that sweet backdrop behind it. Let's add our next letter. This time, let's use the very cool paint tools to make our own letter. Use the brush to simply paint it on your screen. If you want a larger piece to paint with, this is where you change it. Now I've got a nice area so I can make my eye for the name Mike. I'm going to just leave mine black. You could pick a different color. You've got all the tools for erasing and everything you need to make your cool custom letter. You can make it as fancy as you want. I'm going to actually add a little green stripe underneath just because I can. And I'm going to put that stripe on the side. And then when I'm happy with my crazy eye, I'm going to close this window so I can see better for a minute. Uh, you can see I've got an undo and I've got all kinds of options so that I can flip and rotate. But I'm going to leave my eye like it is. I'm going to move over to this area and move it so it's over on the right side. You can see here I could have zoomed in to adjust it if I wanted to try and be more of a perfectionist. This is how you slide so you can get a better look at what you're doing. 
And like I said, there's the undo, and you can clear and start over. But this is just for fun, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to bring back my tools now, and I'm going to go next to make it spin. You can see now that the new sprite is highlighted instead of the M. And to make it spin, we need to give it its own code back on the scripts page. We're going to add a when sprite is clicked, a turn 15 degrees, a wait, and a repeat. So let's find those. When sprite is clicked, there's my repeat, there's my wait, and then we need to find the blue turn. There's turn, and you simply drop it in between, and now... When I click this button, my groovy little eye turns 15 degrees and then repeats 10 times. And just because we're rocking this, let's also add a sweet play sound. I'm going to drop in play sound and instead of pop, I'm going to go back and find the hip hop sound which is pretty easy by going through all of them. They are alphabetical. So right there is hip hop. And because I brought it into my program, I can then go back to scripts and switch from pop to hip hop. Check out how cool it is. And then add this little block so that he automatically comes back to normal when you first click it. So he always starts from 90 before he does all his cool rotations. Now, finish your name by adding the rest of the cool skills on this page. I'm not going to walk you through these. I'm just going to remind you that before you quit today or any day, you want to click File and choose Save Now. And then you'll be able to get it back the next day. So thanks for following along, and I'm looking forward to seeing how cool your names turn out when they're clicked and animated in Scratch. Have a great day.